Um, so here's a, here's another question. This one's for uh, for Dr. Jeff. Um, this one comes from Mike, uh, and Mike wants to know: Should older adults, 80 and up, decrease their number of chiropractic adjustments? Well, I would personally. It depends on the individual. Um, there's no the way the way we figure out how many adjustments you need is based on each individual case. So some people need more, some people need less. It doesn't matter their age. So their age is not a factor in whether or not they get adjusted and how often. Like our, my oldest patient was 104. Uh, my youngest was five days old. So each in, each individual case is an individual case. So that's why we have people come in because, number one, we need to see if it's something that I can help you with or not. And then once you come in, we decide, okay, based on what's going on with you, this is what you're going to need depending on what phase of care you're in. So if you're 80 and things are going really well and you're really healthy, you're not going to need nearly as many adjustments as someone who's 65, but they've got this going on and that going on, and they can't do this and they can't do that and this hurts. Well, they're going to need a lot more. So it, you, you may need less, you may not, because someone who's like my 94-year-old patient, she comes in once every two weeks because she, she knows that when she's not getting adjusted regularly, she does not function nearly as well as when she's getting adjusted. So each, each person is totally individual on that. Okay. Makes total sense. So here is, I believe this is the last question of the evening. Okay. And uh, this is Amy. She's uh, Amy's got a three-part question as well. Okay. And she wants to know, first of all, <laughs> yeah, people want to know a lot, man. <laughs> they don't want to take the opportunity to answer just one question. They want to answer. They want all, you know, they want as many questions as they can get answered. Okay. Um, so here's the first part. First question is, what if I don't experience back pain? Do I need chiropractic? Awesome. Um, basically, if you have a spine, you need chiropractic. Unfortunately, people don't wear their spine on their face because if they did, they'd see it every day and go, oh my God, I gotta adjust it. So the way chiropractic works is this. Does it help you get out of pain? Absolutely. But it's an expensive aspirin, right? Only 9% of your nerves tell us about pain. So what about the other 91%? So in our office, we deal with 100% of your nervous system. You have pain, we're more than happy to take care of that, but that's the quick and easy thing. Pain is the last thing to show up and the first thing to go. The problem is what was wrong way before you got that pain? Because you started out healthy and you slowly worked down and worked down and worked down and then the symptoms showed up. And then you came and saw me because you went to six other doctors and nobody could help you, so now you're in my office. Now two weeks go by, sometimes the first day, and you're out of pain. And I tell you, you're going to have good days and bad days. On the good days, don't overdo it. And on the bad days, remember it's a process. Because just as you started healthy and worked your way down to this pain level, now you've got to work your way all the way back up to health. So just because the symptoms disappear doesn't mean you're out of the clear yet. So we try to explain that to patients. Like, for example, if you had cancer or diabetes, it doesn't show up the first day you have it. They find it six months to a year down the road. But if you get up in the middle of the night and you're perfectly healthy and you stub your toe, you're in pain. doesn't mean there's anything wrong. It's a proper response. So you have to look at that. And, and it's a difficult concept for some people to understand, but we like, if, if I had my way, everyone would get their spine checked on a regular basis because everything functions at a higher level. I have people that come see me because they're bodybuilders or, and they're not symmetrical and they want to be symmetrical. They're running in, in uh, high school tr uh, track and they can't get over the hurdle because their body doesn't move the way it's supposed to. And all of a sudden, they're winning everything after they come see us. I have little girls that are tough. The 14, 16-year-olds that do the dance competitions and the cheerleading, they're tough. They're like, Doc, can I go to my cheer? I have two competitions this Saturday. I go, well, do you want to walk for a living or do you, you know, what are you doing? They're like, but I got to go. I'm like, listen, you're a base. You're going to have girls on top of you. If you, if you get hurt, you're going to hurt them. Oh, maybe I won't go. But if it wasn't for that, they would, they wrap it up really tight and they go out there and kill themselves. So we take it very seriously when people come in. Are you going to do this for a living? Are you a professional that's getting paid for this and your livelihood depends on it? Take a break. You got to rest and repair. We're going to realign your pelvis. We're going to do everything we can to help you. I have women that come in because they're trying to get pregnant. They're not, they don't have low back pain yet. They're not even pregnant yet. So they come in because if their pelvis isn't lined up, number one, they can't, they can't hold the baby itself. And number two, the nerves from the lumbar spine go to the organs that produce the progesterone and all the correct chemicals to have conception and to hold the baby and keep it going. So we tell people we get a lot of women pregnant in our office. <laughs> Sometimes you forget when you say that, you know. <laughs> but basically, it's, it's not for pain is what I'm saying. Right. We, have, we have kids that come in. It's not because they're in pain. They want to be healthier. There, there's a direct link between the nervous system and the immune system. So when you're getting adjusted, 
Dr. Joe's not going to get sick because his immune system's at a much higher level. So it doesn't matter if you're sick, which is actually expressing health, as we like to say. He's not going to get it because his immune system is going to defend it the way it's designed to. Right. You know, and that's a, that's a good point. Like, I started getting adjusted 18 years ago. It'll be 18 years this July. And uh, I originally started getting adjusted because I was getting, like, anywhere from four to five headaches a week. And that had uh, gone on from the age of 14 to the age of 21. And I got introduced to chiropractic, and my headaches went away. Like, I haven't had a headache. I've had maybe maybe half a dozen headaches, like, in the last 18 years. So I think that justifies saying, like, I don't have headaches. But yes. But the thing is, is that I still get adjusted. I get adjusted every week, once a week, and I only do it to really help keep my body aligned, keep my nervous system maintained and functioning as best as it can. So I personally don't use chiropractic for pain. I did in the beginning, but now it's more of a lifestyle choice for me. Right, and that's up, that's up to me to educate you, and then you make your own choice. Exactly. I wish everybody was like you and used it on a regular basis just to make sure that they're as healthy as they can be because they're going to get sick anyway. If you're smoking four packs a day, I don't care how many times you get adjusted, you're going to have a problem. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a lifestyle. 